saw a wild rover He was drinking his fill Take it easy, boys Take it slow He fell off his pony And not a drop did he spill Bound away to Mexico Then fare you well Northern Arizona in winter is unparalleled in its beauty and majesty. One of the pivotal scenes for a sweeping western movie was filmed here. With the San Francisco peaks, Hart Prairie and the sprawling Babbitt Ranch as backdrops. Is a wild roar. Rock and roll! Videographers Tom Barry and Michael Byer revisited the location where it was shot. A lot of people have their life savings in that bank. Yes, ma'am. See, I, I can't honestly get too upset about it because I ain't never done nothing like this before. I sure ain't expecting I'm doing it again either. If the sheriff has to stop, then you keep right on going and bring those cowboys back. You understand? Dead or alive? Alive, of course. That is, if they give you that choice. In the winter of 1970, writer-director Blake Edwards took up the challenge of portraying the true substance of the American cowboy with a motion picture called Wild Rovers. They were the real men of the range, rarely photogenic, usually shabby, unshaven, but loyal, hard-riding, tireless, and fearless cowboys. Actors William Holden and Ryan O'Neill play two such working stiffs. They get up each morning and do the job for about $15 a month. Blake Edwards originally planned to film this scene on dry ground, but saw how shooting in the snow would enhance the picture. Now listen, uh, if this turns out to be ice, and we're cutting and it starts to cut us, oh, just, know, just by, by all means, the rope, by all means. then we'll get the shield. Holden describes how they worked this scene. We roped this horse in a pack of wild horses and we both got a rope around her neck. Holden and Ryan O'Neill chose to perform the roping scene themselves instead of using stuntmen. I got him! Oh, run! I got him! I got him! They worked with stunt coordinators and professional wranglers, all for the purpose of keeping it real. To get a different view of the cowboy and the horse, one of the crew mounts up with a handheld camera. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, you I know we got them. I saw it, man. He has it too. Yeah. Three times. Well, I know I got it with you, but I'm, I'm hoping the horse came in off the side You want the, his horse's head? I think it was there too, at least for one. Anyway, you're <laughs> oriented to where you are. You've got the horse's head in at some point. So you know you're up there on that Except horse. A bond of mutual respect builds between the two actors as they work together on the film. Edwards keeps the continuity of the horse breaking scene going by shooting it with many cameras, both on the ground and in the air. By slowing down the cameras, the director almost creates a ballet out of the action, with the snow fanning out like a spray of jewels.
Even for a robust young actor like Ryan O'Neill, the all-out effort is exhausting. Okay, you can let her go now. How come Daisy? Ah, first girl I was ever in love with. I was about eight. <laughs> she was a sweet little thing. Let's take a look at the finished just scene just with the San Francisco Peaks and Hart Prairie in all of its winter glory, complemented by a sweeping musical score by acclaimed movie composer Jerry Goldsmith. Okay, let's do it! I think one of the final westerns, the last western I did was a picture called The Wild Rovers, and William Holden was being chased by the bad guys, and he knew what was going to happen. He was, they were going to kill him, but I was really trying to stay inside the character, and Blake Edwards, who directed the picture, really went along with me on that, and it worked wonderfully. <laughs> The cowboy is a wild 